We're going to turn now to what may be the last best hope for the Twinkie. Friday we told you about how Hostess is heading to bankruptcy, but there's a good chance that Twinkies and those other iconic Hostess brands will survive. ABC's Lindsay Davis has the story. Mexican billionaire Danielle Servite Montul doesn't look a whole lot like Twinkie the Kid. Howdy, partners. Come on to Hostess Twinkie Town. But for millions of fans of this American snack staple, this morning they're hoping his company, Grupo Bimbo, will be riding a white horse to the rescue. A lot of people grew up with these products, uh, uh, and, and that still resonates. Later today, Hostess, the 82-year-old icon that makes Twinkies, along with Ding Dongs, Ring Dings, Ho Ho's, and Wonder Bread, will fold, selling off the company in bankruptcy court. At this point, the only option is to wind down the business. After the company announced Friday it was shutting down, distraught fans went into a Twinkie tailspin, emptying store shelves. It's a pandemic out here. Everybody's going to grab the Hostess. People were in such a panic over the weekend, Four boxes of the gooey treat were listed for $3 million on eBay. I cannot face a world without Twinkies. One fanatic, afraid of facing the end of the snack, even posted a do-it-yourself Twinkie tutorial on YouTube. Up until this weekend, sales had been dropping as moms began swapping out healthier choices in their children's lunch boxes. The final nail in the cream-filled coffin? A bitter nationwide strike by factory workers that ended in a stalemate last week. The hearing today will determine if the company is liquidated. Now, part of the reason that the Mexican company could actually keep Twinkies alive is because it can take advantage of lower priced sugar in Mexico. So, Viva La Twinkie. After all, we're talking about a snack food so iconic, President Clinton included it in the Millennium Time Capsule, George. Oh, man, it also means a lot of jobs as well. Okay, Lindsay, thanks very much.